it's absolutely heartbreaking that something like this can happen. You actually you feel like uh, your family's been forgotten about, that the case has been forgotten about. A family thought it would be an open and shut case after Roger Hooper was killed. There was evidence, there was even suspects. Well, 29 years ago this month, the killing remains unsolved. WBIR 10 News reporter Leslie Ackerson takes us to Cock County in tonight's Appalachian Unsolved. This is a good community. It's just Stanton home. It's a small town where absolutely everybody knows everybody. It's a cinematic cliche, also true in the mountains of Cott County. 90% of the time, everybody knows everybody's business also. But in a place where there seems to be no secrets, there's one that's remained unspoken. It was the night of February 22nd, 1991 when 26-year-old Roger Hooper was shot dead. As he's going up and is on the porch, he's ambushed. He suffered several shots across his, his body. A murder heard two doors down. Oh yeah, we heard the gunshots. It was extremely loud. I was 13. Roger wasn't just a neighbor to young Shannon Hooper. He was family. To me, of course, he was like a big brother anyway. Roger's the kind of guy that it's absolutely impossible to be in a bad mood if he's around him. Hooper was returning home from a Cosby High School basketball game. I was with him literally less than two minutes before he was murdered. And investigators believe the killers were waiting, hiding in a nearby cemetery. There was no confrontation in the driveway, so the shots were fired from a high ground position, which would have been directly behind their house up an embankment is a cemetery. Inside at the time, Hooper's wife made the discovery. She was pregnant with their first child. Of course, he never got to meet his son. In a rural county, response time to the Hooper home wasn't quick. In those days, the, the new stretch wasn't completed, so that, that drive from Newport to Cosby is 30 minutes. In 1991, maybe three deputies working the shift if they're lucky. Retired Detective Robert Caldwell was on scene that night and worked the case for years. We talked about it a lot, uh, up to the time I retired. And there's things that, that you don't want to, you don't want to give away that probably only the person that pulled the trigger knows. Roger's death wasn't the end of trouble for the Hooper family. Shannon's home was targeted too. The walls still bear the marks. Two different drive-bys on this house, on our house. Fortunately, the first time there was no, nobody home, but the second time our whole family was here and it could have turned out extremely bad. They're convinced they know who is responsible. Without a doubt, without a doubt we know. According to these records we obtained, months before his death, Roger Hooper had been shot at by Donnie Webb on the interstate. Webb was charged and convicted of trying to shoot Roger in that case. In this small town, people talked, rumors flew, but no answers 29 years later. It's time. There are people out there that know things about this case that have never told it. There are people that have been asked and didn't tell it. People that wouldn't talk then, I'm sure now they've got kids, they've got grandkids, people they don't want to leave and go to prison for. I don't care if you offer them immunity, somebody can and will talk, I, I really believe that. In Cock County, Leslie Ackerson, 10 News. We live and die with this every single day. You know, it never goes away for the family. TBI agents say there has been activity in this case in the last three to four months. They do have evidence that they can reanalyze as, of course, DNA technology has advanced. However, agents reaffirm it's going to take someone talking that gets this case into a courtroom. Well, if you have any information about the death of Roger Hooper, you can contact 1-800-TBI-FIND.